Hi everyone, uh, my name is Emmanuel Obodo. I'm a specialist biomedical scientist and I'm also a lecturer in biomedical science here in the UK. I completed my PhD in biomedical science. I have extensive experience working in NHS as a specialist biomedical scientist. And for many years, I have helped a number of people secure their dream job as a specialist biomedical scientist and also as a biomedical scientist. I'm here to help you to navigate through interview questions and thereby increase your chances of getting a job as a biomedical scientist. I ask that you like, share, comment, and subscribe our page. Thank you. Another question that somebody asked me was that when you notice, sorry, when your analyzer gives you hemoglobin of 70, what would you do? Let me repeat that. When your analyzer gives you hemoglobin of 70, what would you do? Guys, let me tell you. If you listen to my previous videos, there are things I've told you guys. And one of the things I keep encouraging most of you is that, please, go back and listen to those videos as many as you can. Let me tell you. Do you know there are keywords there? The keywords there are hemoglobin and analyzer. That question is different from when somebody asks you, what does the hemoglobin of 70 indicate or mean? That's different. So when they ask you, your analyzer gives you hemoglobin of 70, what would you do? That is different from when they ask you, what is hemoglobin of 70 indicate? <laughs> because analyzer has come into the question, that means there could be a problem with the analyzer actually so i want you to think like that so today i'm not going to worry so much to explain hemoglobin for you because if you watch my video on mcv okay where i was mentioning different anemias whether microcytic anemia normocytic anemia macrocytic anemia and I also dealt with each of these full blood count results very well in the interpretation of full blood count result so you can go and watch that but what i really want to get your attention to anytime you go for interview and they ask any question associating it with analyzer there is something they are asking you now let me tell you do you know that your analyzer gives you hemoglobin of 70 what are you going to do by the way hemoglobin of 70 is a low hemoglobin therefore is abnormal result in that question can also come like this if you notice that your analyzer is giving you abnormal result, what are you going to do? <laughs> so, you see it now. For the fact that they've mentioned analyzer with it, don't just answer hemoglobin. They are trying to get to, get to know whether you will see when your analyzer starts giving you abnormal result and what are you going to do about it. Okay? So, I'm going to answer this question of when your analyzer gives you hemoglobin of 70, what are you going to do? But for the purpose of this presentation or this video, I want you to know that it is the same thing as when you notice that one of your analyzers or when you notice that your analyzer is giving you abnormal result, what are you going to do? The only difference between this hemoglobin one and this, when you notice that your analyzer gives you an abnormal result, what are you going to do is this. The other one, the other one that has to do with when you notice that your analyzer is giving you abnormal result, what are you going to do? What you just need to do is to investigate the analyzer. Okay? But because of this one has to do when your analyzer gives you hemoglobin of 70, what are you going to do? You need to investigate analyzer. Your answer should be both investigating the analyzer and answering what hemoglobin 70 means okay so i'm going to start with hemoglobin and i'm not going to go into detail because like i've said i'd already dealt with it when i was talking about mcv so if you've not watched my video on mcv go and watch it but you know that the hemoglobin of 70 is low and and what because it is low that means the person is anemic anemia basically means low hemoglobin low hematocrit okay or low red blood cells they are anemia 
whether it is re low red blood cells, low hematocrit, or low hemoglobin, that is anemia. That is a simple definition of anemia. So for the fact that that hemoglobin is 70, it suggests anemic. But again, that means it's abnormal result. Again, because they've associated with the analyzer, it could actually be the problem from the analyzer. But let's just, I want you to answer it this way. So you first of all tell them that because the analyzer has given you hemoglobin of 70, and hemoglobin of 70 is abnormal result. The question is, is it really actual result of this patient? So what you are going to do is to look at the patient record and find out whether hemoglobin of 70 is consistent with the patient. If the hemoglobin of 70 is consistent with the patient, that is fine, okay? That is that means is okay. So if it is consistent with the patient and the patient has not been transfused, that explains the result. However, if it is not consistent with the patient, that means there could be a problem with the analyzer. You see how I went now? Or you could say, I will try to check the patient record. If the patient does not have, if I don't have any previous result on the patient, I might also need to check whether the analyzer is giving a reliable result or not, okay? Because hemoglobin of 70 is low. Then you say, when I check, if the, analyze, if the analyzer is okay, there is no problem with the analyzer, it, it suggests that this person is anemic. So the question now is that from the result, it may not be interesting to know whether it is microcytic anemia or normocytic anemia or macrocytic anemia. Then what I will tell you guys, Give the story about microcytic anemia, give them story about normocytic anemia, and give them story of what? Microcytic anemia. But I know that this question, they want, to, they want you to talk about the analyzer. Then you will say, but if I investigate it and I find out that there is a problem with the analyzer, maybe because if I run it with another analyzer and the hemoglobin becomes normal, meaning that the hemoglobin moves from 70 to maybe 100 or 150 as the case may be, that means that that analyzer may be faulty. So I have to investigate to investigate the analyzer further. So what I will do, I have to check the reagent under the analyzer as they still in date or has it expired, okay? Then I, maybe it's possible that one of the channels of the analyzer has been blocked by clot or as the case may be so i'm going to carry out a maintenance okay so i will carry out a maintenance or do calibration where possible then i will then repeat the quality control if the control sample pass then all those sample that has gone through the other analyzer i will repeat it in this correct an analyzer to compare the two results if it gives me a close result then that explains that i have sorted the problem However, if I do the maintenance and after the maintenance or calibration and after the calib after the maintenance and calibration and I do the quality control and it fails and I did all the troubleshooting and it is still failing, what I will do is that I'm going to put that analyzer out of use, okay, and call engineers, okay, to come and have a look at that analyzer. That is the answer to that question. So guys, let me come again. Anytime they ask you any question, and they associate it with analyzer. Answer the analyzer first, especially when it is abnormal result. So that was why I say such question can be if you notice that one of your analyzer or your analyzer is giving you abnormal result, what are you going to do? You do maintenance, you of course investigate the reagent, maintenance, and all the whole thing that I've said, okay? Then that's what you do. But that is the answer to that one. But when they say like this, your analyzer gives you hemoglobin of 70, what are you going to do? Please guys, answer the analyzer, you investigate whether it is a current result, okay? I've already told you what to do. Then, after that, i also answer the hemoglobin in terms of anemia and give them the story whether it is normocytic, microcytic, or macrocytic anemia. So, this is what you do and this is the answer to that. Again, I want you guys, when you go for interview, to use your critical thinking. Most of the questions they are asking you, the answers are not far. They are closer than you can think. In fact, let me end this video by saying this. The primary role, and I'm sure I've mentioned it in one of my videos, the primary thing a biomedical scientist is doing is to investigate that the result getting to the patient is correct result. And let me also say this. There's what we call auto-validation. And there's what we call, you know, manual validation. Most of the sample that goes through the analyzers, you don't see them. They will auto-validate themselves. You won't see it. Any result you see, you know, 
to for you to validate or authorize or release it means that the analyzer is saying i cannot auto validate this investigate so anything that you can investigate before releasing potentially may be abnormal okay so that is why you investigate using your scientific judgment anyway i hope i've answered this question thank you very much till i come your way again please hit the subscribe button bye